Okay, let's take a few seconds and let's look at just a quick video of how to use the Moz toolbar. Um, again, it's something that I really love and after you download it and you you start using it, you realize it is really easy to use, but it gives a lot of information. Um, in this example, we're going to look at Bluehost.com and their homepage and I have the Moz toolbar already installed. Um, and I've clicked on my little M over here on the right hand side of my browser, which dropped down this bar right here. To view the meta for the homepage, all I really have to do is just click on the magnifying glass, which will pop up um, the page attributes. And so now I get to see a little bit of the source code without actually having to go to the source code. Can I read the source code? Yes. Do I want to do that? Not so much. So I like to use this tool just to kind of get a quick idea of the meta titles, H1s, and things like that. So in this example, we are using Bluehost again, um, and I can see that their meta title is um, the best web hosting is, uh, you know, what they're, what they're showcasing and web hosting services. So my takeaway for those two would be um, web hosting and Web hosting services would be potentially two keyword phrases that we could review and add to our list. Um, moving down to their meta description, I see uh, similar phrases again, web hosting services, and typically if there is a keyword that's a focus for the page, you would see it in both the meta title and the description if um, the person working on the SEO is doing it properly. So now we move down to the meta keywords. Not very many people use meta keywords. Um, they are only really used in the Asia Pacific region by search engines. Uh, so in the US, you typically do not see them or any country outside the Asia Pacific region. Um, what the search engines do use them for in the US is as spam triggers for pay per click. So I generally recommend people don't use these. However, when people do have them in place, they're great to kind of look at the keywords because even though it's a lot of times they're jumbled like this one, we get to see that they are using some keywords keywords and um, they have some in there in, in, in place and so we can um, document those and add those to our list. Um, next we can go down to the H1 which I see is best uh, web hosting and we can just use this bar right here and slide some down and see H2, some bold, some italics, and um, some alt text. All great areas to find some really good keywords and just kind of get an idea of what's happening on the website within the source code itself. Um, we can jump over real quick and view the same type of information on WP Engine by again hitting the magnifying glass. Um, in this example though we see some funky stuff going on in the page title. So I believe anything after this um, WP Engine and the register trademark there, um, I believe all that's just garbage that's gotten in there by mistake. So you just kind of discount that and ignore it and then kind of look you know, farther at the other data. So from a keyword standpoint we're seeing WordPress hosting, we're seeing managed WordPress hosting, um, let's see what else we have. Manage WordPress hosting again, manage WordPress hosting again, and you can start to see a trend that this is potentially the focus keyword phrase that they want for this homepage. Um, I also see WordPress sites, uh, WordPress cloud hosting, um, and then we can go down to the alt text to see if there's anything there. And a lot of times there, there isn't because people completely forget about alt text and they just use it solely for um, accessibility purposes. Um, but again, you know, you, you look at through this data and you do see a lot of good information that you can pull out for uh, keyword research, for competitive research, for building a seed list. And while this is an example of, of our, you know, a, a lesson within our competitive research course, you would go through the same process if you were to um, look at websites to build up a seed list for any type of activity with SEO. This is a, again, this is a great tool, um, the Moz toolbar. It's free and all you have to do is jump over to the Moz's website um, and there's a big yellow button to download it for free and it'll drop right into Chrome and it'll be good to go. Um, so that concludes the video, uh, you know, just looking at Bluehost and WP Engine as quick uh, data points for the toolbar. Um, hopefully that will get you started on it and um, get you going so that you can kind of dive into your own competitors and, and view what kind of uh, keywords they have available.